Hi there, I thought I would show you what I have done with all these um, cans that I've now finished my um, backsplash wall in my um, kitchen and of course I did all these um, pieces of aluminium from LMP cans and coca-cola cans but anyway with all the cans that were left over I actually kept all the tabs and this is what I've been making with them. I've been making flowers with them. So this is a square looking tab. So there's like two different styles of tabs that you get. So this one here is square. See how it's sort of more of a square shape. And the other one is rounded. So what I've decided to do, because there's been some great tutorials on um, YouTube of how to make a bag, but I'm going to make something a little bit different. And these are these. So that's the difference. See, there's two different styles of tabs. So what I've done here is I've crocheted them together. So this is the square tab, so that's a flower. And I'm actually going to connect these all together. So this is going to be the base of my bag, so it'll be up that way. It's going to go right round, this will be the handle. And then I'm going to crochet sort of like chain mail um, front and back for the bag. So I thought I'd show you how to make these flowers. So put it away in my cool little Coca-Cola containers. So what you need, you'll need six of these little can tabs to make a flower. And it's really simple. Um, I've got a number three crochet hook here. And I've got like a waxed nylon. Um, you know, you could buy this. I bought this whole lot here and I think it's 40 meters for $3.50 from AJ's Emporium. So, um, you know, it's really weird, but it's it's wax, but it doesn't, on the tutorial I watched, she actually melts the end and it seals it. This this wasn't so easy. So, you'll notice that the tab has the circle there, and that's where you lift it off the can, and this piece here. And what I did, I actually got a Dremel, and I filed every single one of them. So, these are really smooth. I took off all the burrs. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just get a pair of pliers, and and cut it but I decided I wanted this so that it wouldn't fall apart. That's slightly, see that's slightly different again. So I've got six can tabs and what you need to do is put them over like this. Okay? And you're going to crochet. So I'm just going to start here. Pull it through. So it's a number three crochet hook and I actually don't know the gauge or the size of this thread but it's a pain I don't particularly like crocheting it so just a single crochet in there and then do another one just to fasten it together and you need to keep the tabs all going the same way and you'll see what I mean so I've got that one in front that one behind so this one here will go behind because oh, hang on yes behind so I want them all the same so I want to crochet into here so you're gonna it's like crocheting a line one two you could actually crochet in three doesn't matter again grab another one put it there behind one two so it's one two three four grab another one and crochet behind it and you'll see what I mean bit fiddly but I think they look fantastic I've seen a bag done with all the flowers and I thought it was quite cool but I'm just going to actually just the, my bag's going to be flowers on the side and the handle and the final one is number six goes behind and you'll see why this is the cool part so crochet two again crochet two again and see you literally just curl it in like this and that's your flower. So you work out, so that's one over that way, over that way, over that way, yep, over that way, and this will be over. So you work out that that's how that will sit, and you crochet in, this is fiddly, between these two to connect. One, two, and then I keep a little bit, cut that off, and see how you've got this gorgeous star, and it's all crocheted. That's how you do the flower, and um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to attach these. I think I probably will attach them, crochet them all together. I'll just grab another round one. 
think I'll probably crochet that's why I, I don't want to cut this just yet but I'll probably crochet two together and maybe go through here and then, then do my chain that way have to figure that one out so that's how you do the flower the other thing this is what I'm going to do the base of the bag now this is just the beginning so this is really simple because this is two can tabs again just single crochet but this time you've got to have that can that's the inside facing so this one will go I'll match that that way and this one will go turn that around and match it and then you crochet through four four holes so I started this just to figure out how to do it gets a bit fiddly yep that's it one crochet two again crochet two again so this was just showing you so you start off with two and then you just keep adding to it and you've got to face them together so when you open them like that of course you're going to get this amazing look of chain mail all up on the bag so to keep growing this and adding to it you would then get another one here and you would do it this way so once you finish that line you would start crocheting it so when you opened it up again oh, that's the wrong way so you would crochet it this way when you opened it up again you'd have the, the double rope coming through it's hard to explain but yeah you just need to go along make your whole list and then you keep adding to each each of these as if it was another one so it would be one two so you'd be yeah that's how it would work so yeah, it's a lot of fun. So that's what I've done with all the can tabs. I've actually got hundreds of these. And it's taken me ages to do it with the Dremel to actually tidy them all up. Then they need to be washed. These have all been washed. And then of course you can go along and make these great flowers. And um, I made these for um, a zipper on a jacket and on a handbag. It came out really good. The Red Bull ones are quite difficult to use because you kind of need the, both holes when you're making the flowers. But I did I did do one with a whole set of blue Red Bull tabs and it came out quite good. So there's those as well. And the other thing, since I had all of these spare, I started to cut them out and make butterflies and flowers. And I'm just waiting for my shoe clips to arrive and I'm going to make these cool flowers, see I've been bending them um, uh, flowers to clip on my shoes, clip on and off and these are the butterflies, that's just a coca-cola one, that's embossed so I quite like quite like that look, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do but these are all my leftover little bits from my cans, I keep them all um, I sometimes emboss them, I make cards with them I don't like to throw out anything, I mean these are leaves that I've embossed and but I quite like that. I think that looks quite cool and I will fill that in and carry on and I love the little butterfly and it's just so pliable. So anyway, that's what you can do and that's kind of what it looks like. That's from the die. Um, have a go with the can tabs. It's a lot of fun. There's some great tutorials on YouTube. I'm sorry I don't know the lady's name that's making the bags but these are so simple to make and they look great. I've made a set of earrings and you can get this nylon in any colour. So you can do bright green and orange, you can do um, necklaces, you can, it's just endless what you can do and they look really good. So I hope that helps you. Thank you for watching.